Hello. Uh, today we'll run you through our integration with Salesforce from the Contract Pod AI. Starting here within Salesforce, I'm a salesperson within an organization and I shall be selling a series of software services and success services into Acme, our customer. Within the opportunity, I can view all of the opportunity detail. I can see a series of contracts that we've already created with Contract Pod AI. And I can see some quotes that I've created for my customer. There's, there's three quotes here. And at the moment, quote number three is our active quote. So let me take a look at that quote. Within the quote, I can see all of the detail associated with it, once again, including pricing information. And I can also view the quote lines. And here we have that mix between software services and success services that we will be delivering to our customer. I've already verbally spoken to the customer and have agreed these quote line items and the associated pricing. So I'd now like to send out an official quote document for them to sign. I can do so using the contract pod AI integration. So I can request the generation of an order form. I can preview the details associated with that order form. I will actually change the email address to which I'd like to send the order form out for signature. This field ordinarily would be populated directly from Salesforce. It could be the primary contact for the organization in question. I can preview the services that we're providing to that customer, and I can go ahead and request that the order form be created, and then that we'll go ahead and send that out for electronic signature via DocuSign. As you can see, my contract has now been created successfully, and the status for it automatically updated back into Salesforce. I can now send that order form directly out for e-signature. Requesting to do so makes use of Contract Pod's direct integration with DocuSign to send that contract out for signature, enabling the customer to preview it, have a look through the entire order form, make sure they're happy with the language, make sure they're happy with the various line items in there, the pricing associated with that, and they can then go ahead and follow the standard DocuSign process. Within here, they can agree to the electronic record and signature disclosure, select continue, review the order form and note, we've taken those line items and within contract pod, we've generated those into two separate tables. So it's clear that the difference between the software services and the success services that we're offering. Once they've reviewed the entire order form and made sure they're happy with the language, pricing, and all the terms and conditions within there, they can go ahead and adopt and sign that contract and complete the signing process within DocuSign. They'll then be notified once that signing process is complete. But one point to note here is that within Salesforce, we can see that the status of that contract has moved onto a waiting signature. So that information is being reflected in real time back into Salesforce. And we can see that we've got that e-signature process currently running within there as well. Whilst I'm doing so, I can take a look at the variety of other information that we have available to us within this order form contract. Again, here we're native within Salesforce, so I can select directly and return to that quote should I wish to do so. But once that signing process is complete, I will then be able to refresh my screen within Salesforce. I'm within the contract pod service, our plugin that's native to Salesforce. And within here directly, I can now see that our contract is active. I can see that there's been an electronic signature history that's now complete. I can see who signed it. I can see that we had an initial word-based version of that order form. And I can see that we now have a PDF version of that order form. And this indeed is the electronically signed version that we have received back 
from DocuSign and directly within Salesforce, I can go ahead and view that order form, that contract, and I can note that it has been electronically signed by our customer. So in summary, a salesperson within the organization can start with an opportunity, start with a quote. They can request the creation of a contract. In this case, I've shown you how to create an order form, but that could equally have been a master services agreement or a non-disclosure agreement, which could have been created directly from the opportunity record or even the account record in Salesforce. Contract Pod has generated that contract, the order form in this case. We've sent for electronic signature. Our customer has signed it and we've received a status update and the signed document directly back within Salesforce. So our salesperson can always understand exactly where that order form or contract is within its life cycle and can be made immediately aware of it being signed by their customer. And from there, we could then accept that quote as our primary quote was in Salesforce and take that piece of business forward with the customer in Salesforce as we would do in any other scenario. So with that, thank you very much.